danser, danser, pas ça, c'est là. Envie de danser, pas ça, c'est là. Aïe, oui, son coulé, pas ça, c'est là. Oui, c'est lui, on m'a dit. Hey, it's Day and Daisy. Hey, you just gonna make a cameo? Okay, I kind of don't want you in the frame though. Can you go over there? Let's try this again. <laughs> Hey, it's Day, and today I'm bringing you guys a video that I promised on Snapchat, which was like my Mexico haul. I bought a bunch of stuff from Fashion Nova, Pretty Little Thing, and Forever 21. And I'm gonna show you guys all the things that I bought. Um, all of it I'm not taking with me to Mexico, but most of it is for my Mexico trip. So yeah, you might wanna grab some water, snacks, some wine or something, cause we're about to be here for a minute. Cause when I tell y'all I got a lot of stuff, I got a lot of stuff. I think I got like maybe $600 worth of stuff, let me think. Yeah, I got about $600 worth of stuff, so we're just gonna go through it, and I'm gonna get started now because this video is about to be long as hell. Okay, so the first thing I have is this crop top and leggings that I will probably be wearing this in the airport chilling. These leggings are super comfortable. Like, they're very stretchy, very comfortable. And this crop top, um, it's a little too small. Um, I'm gonna try either wearing a bra that doesn't have as much padding or no bra with it and go with that and i wear it with a jacket because you know it's cold in the airport but yeah this is very very comfortable the material is very stretchy so yeah definitely going to be taking this with me and wearing it in the airport so maybe i'll travel outfit with some sneakers or some sandals so next thing i got are these rip shorts and these are super cute they fit me perfectly they're not too tight around the waist not too tight around the thighs and i love how they're ripped all the way up through the pocket that's cute to show a little extra skin i like how there's like stress stuff down at the bottom distress stuff down at the bottom i really have no complaints about these shorts these fit me perfectly i remember last time i did this video i told you guys that um i was going to order some of the stuff a size down like my tops and stuff a size down but the pants were i've got a size i think it was a uk size eight and maybe in a, a u.s size four but these fit me perfectly there there are no issues whatsoever so i cannot wait to wear these these are definitely coming with me to mexico i also got them in another color the same exact shorts they're in a blue denim wash um super cute same size no complaints about these i cannot wait to wear these all summer they're very comfortable and you can like dress them up and dress them down like I currently have them with this top that's like got little palm tree leaves on them it's really cute um one thing about this top i'm gonna let you guys know is that this did not come tied i actually had to tie it myself which was a little bit of a challenge it's also kind of see-through so i will have to wear some pasties under these i do like that the straps are adjustable and how this whole thing is super adjustable like you can tie it as tight as you want as loose as you want you can adjust the bra straps or Whatever you have to do, um, just gotta wear some paces under them because they are a little see-through. Well, you know what? It's 2018. Some people don't care about nothing being see-through anymore, so do you. I care. But if you don't care, more power to you. I, I admire your courage. So the next thing I got is actually one of my favorite pieces out of this haul. It's just really adorable. I, I think this would be so cute when I wear my afro. So I'm really down with this top. The only thing is the material is a little um, thick. So I might get a little hot in it. But you know what? I'm going to wear it with some shorts like I have it here. And I'll be cool. I'll work it out. It's, it's really cute. I also like that it's... Um, no bra friendly in the summer i like to wear a bra as least amount as possible so i do love that i can i don't have to wear a bra with this i'm actually not wearing it with one now it has little ruffles on the sleeve really cute fits it goes perfect with these shorts actually so this might be an outfit for me the next one i got is a very similar shirt um similar style thing it is a lighter fabric so i won't get hot in this um the sleeves aren't long and it's very flowy like you guys can just see how the sleeves are open and everything it's supposed to be ruffled in the front ruffled in the back and the front you have to like tie it and then scrunch it up like that and then it'll make the ruffles um i didn't tie it as tight as i should have but you guys kind of get the picture this is cute i'm keeping it and i will be bringing this for sure to mexico this will be really cute i think it'll be cute with those black shorts that i had actually because there's black in the fabric here and the last top that i got from pretty little thing again you have to tie it up i struggled with tying this up because i'm i'm small but my boobs are pretty big i'm like a d borderline double d so i struggled kind of tying it up and making sure that my boobs didn't slip um i will have to wear pasties with these because the fabric is kind of see-through but i really like this i thought it was really cute it fit good with the shorts and it fit good with these jeans that i got 
Um, I fell in love with those jeans that I got in my last Pretty Little Thing haul that I will link right here. So I bought these. These have the cut in the back. Um, they're not exactly how I wanted them to fit, but the more I had them on, the more they grew on me. So I'm still kind of debating on whether I'm going to keep these or not. I think I would want some that are a little more fitted um, and not momish. So next thing I have is this black jacket and I've always wanted like a black crop jean jacket and then Tiana Taylor released her collection with pretty little thing called Carl Connie or is it Carl Connie Carl? I think it's Carl Connie. And the stuff in that collection was so cute. I was so pissed that I wasn't able to get more stuff. By the time I, I mean, I just, I underestimated. I didn't think it was going to sell out that quickly. Like I thought, you know, I was only two days late and everything in my size was sold out. This is actually too small. I bought this in a size zero and I needed a size four, but it fit really well. It's supposed to be kind of baggy. So it worked out. It's just a little more fitted than it's supposed to be. So glad that I at least got something from her collection. And if they restock, I will definitely be copping because uh, her stuff was like so like tomboy chic. It was cute. I also got this bralette from Pretty Little Thing as well. It was just a little cheap buy and I needed a little black something that could just interchange. Like you guys can see how it just matches with a bunch of different of the bottoms that I have with this set. Okay, so this next one took me for a shock that I actually liked it. Nobody told me that Fanny Pack was making a comeback and it was coming back with a vengeance. I don't care what nobody say. This is cute. And the older you get, the more you start shopping for like convenience purposes. You think of, ooh, they got pockets. I want it. Ooh, those soft. I want those. This fanny pack is so cute and, and it's about to be so convenient when I'm out the country because when you're ripping and running, you drinking and stuff, you do not want to have a bunch of stuff in your hand. You can lose something real quick. This is small enough so where I won't be bringing a whole bunch of stuff I don't need off of that resort and big enough for me to fit like my little phone in it, a little bit of cash, my ID or whatever I need just to get by off this resort. This is so cute. The only thing which, I, this is nothing new to me and I'm like nine times out of 10 I'm gonna have this problem with belts is the belt is a little too big and I don't feel like poking a hole in it because it's cute and I don't want to mess it up and it, this will just have to work. But I'm on the last loop and y'all can see it's kind of flapping out on the side. But this is cute, clutch, going with me to Mexico. First thing I'm putting in the bag, I'm with it. I'm so down with the fanny packs, I got me two. I'm with this one as well. And this one actually I would use as a clutch as well. I like this one a lot. It's kind of more, uh, it's more mature than the hologram one, but I don't care. I'm in that in-between stage where I need to grow up, but I'm still young enough to do childish shit. So yeah, I love these two fanny packs. And this one is also bigger than the other one, so I can fit more stuff. So if we like go out and we're gonna be out all day or something, if this one matches, I'm gonna pick this one first. And while we're on accessories, I also got me this 90s baby, this 90s baby necklace. I thought that was really cute. And I'm a 90s baby and I'm so proud. And we're like the last of the greats. So then on top of that, I also got this body chain. It's like a little wraparound for like your shorts. Um, I switched shorts. These shorts I actually got from Forever 21. I didn't think they looked good when I put them with the bigger mom shorts they look cute when i had on like some little almost some coochie cutters this was almost too big to fit around my thighs actually it was too big to fit around my thighs i ended up having to hook the chain inside of these actual rhinestones instead of the little loops that they give so i feel like this isn't just a petite thing this is actually for like thick chicks curvy chicks and i would love to see y'all in this get you one this is so cute and i cannot wait to wear this and then I've been saying since Rihanna released them and I don't know why I didn't just buy them when she first released them, but I've been wanting some green fuzzy slides forever and they finally, finally somewhere that I shop released them and I got me some green fuzzy slides and I'm actually wearing them with this outfit today when I go out to dinner. So boop, yes. Uh -huh. All right, on to the more dressier things that I have. I got this dress and they can have it back. This is ugly, I'm taking it off right now. I ain't got nothing else to say. The next dress, really cute, again, with the high thigh split that I underestimated. This is really cute though. Um, I will wear this out to one of our little dinners. My best friend is getting married in Mexico, so if we have like a little fancy dinner beforehand, this is what I'm wearing to the dinner, and I'm so excited. I actually might vlog the whole experience, so if that's something you guys are interested in, let me know. It'll be my first vlog, and I feel like it will be dope, and it'll be dope for her as well to have like, her friends vlog her wedding. So yeah, if you're um, down for that, go to the comment section and let me know. So the next thing I got is a set. Y'all know I love, well, y'all don't know. I'm just now 
doing this so y'all are learning my style but i love a good set um this set is super cute and if i can get it altered in time i am taking it with me to mexico the top fit perfectly love the top didn't need a bra for it but the bottom which i'm not shocked but the bottoms there are way too long i'm five feet so i struggle with this all the time and i wish companies would come out with something now to wear if you're petite or you're short they have an option because we love these style pants but they are always too long so i'm gonna take i'm keeping this this is cute i can't send it back i, I love this outfit so much i'm gonna try to take it to get it altered before i go out of town this week the last thing that i got from pretty little thing is this romper now on camera and even on the website when i looked at it i thought it was like a little like cotton t-shirt style jersey style romper this is like that textured material kind of like with um nice dresses so i actually see myself dressing this up really cutely with some heels and i would actually wear this out i love the back of this romper that's what got me to buy it the front is basic but the back is really really cute and again this is one of the things i would love to wear with my fro so that's everything I got from Pretty Little Thing. And I just love them lately. Like that's, that I'm just going to go ahead and claim it and put it in the atmosphere. That is my favorite place to shop at this moment. It used to be Fashion Nova, but they are slipping. But let me go ahead and show y'all what I got from Fashion Nova. I did get some cute stuff from there, but it was just slim pickings. So the first thing that I got is another one of my favorite pieces. These cargo pants. These fit me so perfectly i got them in an extra small i normally buy smalls there but i know it was big so i just went ahead and got it a size smaller i love these cargo pants i've been trying to get some cute fashion cargo pants for years and every time that they would post them and i finally saw it they would sell out and i finally caught these they were actually sold out i think somebody returned these and then i got them but yeah these are so cute i'm wearing them with this shirt that i also got from fashion nova it just says female on it um i thought that was cute with my heels uh this little outfit right here for me is cute then i threw on some glasses these glasses i got from fashion nova um i'm very very picky about where i buy my shades from and i saw these with the little cat eye opening i don't know if y'all can see but there's like a little opening right there and i was like i gotta at least try it i'll send it back if i don't like it but these fit my face perfectly i don't like shades because i feel like they just swallow my face and make me look like i'm a little kid playing in them her mama shades so yeah keeping the shades and this whole outfit was just a whole look for me and i will wear this out on like a date um might wear it to dinner tonight so yeah i'm with it then i got this little tank top because i need more like basic stuff um i have a lot of dressy clothes and then sometimes i don't have things to wear if i'm just like running out to go, to go chill or something where i don't need to dress up but i thought this was really cute it says adultish and grownish is one of my favorite shows so i got the adultish one and then i have this floral top um not my favorite piece that i got out of the collection but um y'all know that i do hair blogging and typically companies like for us to wear like white shirts so i think this would be a nice white shirt to go with um some blogging stuff so i will definitely be keeping it the next thing that i have is just a t-shirt with a, a knot tied in the middle because i wasn't sure exactly how i was going to style these cargo pants so i think all of these tops minus that floral top look really good with the cargo pants so i can wear it quite a few different ways but yeah i like this look with the cargo pants so next thing i have is these floral side snap pants and i've been saying i wanted one some of these for a minute and um so again it's another situation where i do it when we way too big and i saw they offer these in a size extra small so i got them they fit me really good the only thing is the buttons um some of them aren't very uh what's the word i'm looking for aren't very strong i don't know the word i'm looking for but because look at this one it just keeps like i do just comes right out like just barely look it popped out and i didn't even do it but when i put it on you can't tell it's popped out or not because the fabric is heavy but like see how that one i'm holding it by the button and it's not even popping out but this one will it it's just barely coming out but i'm not worried i'm gonna keep it it's you get what you pay for it ain't like this is a super expensive clothing now the last thing i got from fashion nova which i probably won't wear this summer although i might pair it with this outfit with the crop top and the shorts just so i can be cool is this army fatigue jacket i've been wanting one of these since last year I like the back of it it says too glam to give a damn um yeah i like this and i'm actually going to new york um and i don't know how 
cold is gonna well not cold but i know it's cooler up there so this might be something i bring to new york i will be at curl fest by the way y'all heard it first and the last thing i got from fashion nova are some black sandals so i can stop stealing my best friend sandals whenever we go out of town because every time we go out of town she got these black sandals that i really just want her to give to me but she ain't gonna do it but she let me borrow them all the time so i finally went ahead and got me some little black sandals maybe i can convince her to swap with me because these cute and this look like her style i just i really want her sandals and i can't find them anywhere so hopefully she gives them to me they're real similar to this but i just want her sandals so deanna can i have your sandals please and that was everything I got from Fashion Nova. Um, not too bad, but again, I used to shop, like get so much stuff from Fashion Nova, but as y'all can see, it was kinda, it was kinda slim pickings. And even slimmer pickings was Forever 21. <laughs> the only thing that I got from there worth mentioning really is this romper. And even then, I just got it cause it's yellow and I like how yellow looks on black skin. But other than that, mm, Forever 21 gotta do better. Like, people, we wanna love Forever 21 so bad, but their selection just don't be good for me. And their fit is always funny. Like, it's always too big or too, it's small in the wrong places. Like, when I first put this on, the sleeves were, I had to like really, really adjust the little straps in the back. It does have adjustable straps. And even then, it still kind of fit funny up at top, but at the bottom, my butt was hanging out. So I had to loosen it back up a little bit. So the top couldn't fit exactly how I wanted it because my butt cheeks was hanging out. And I was just like, Lord, Forever 21 got to step it up. Other than that, I got these shades. I thought these were cute. They're small, so I feel like they'll look good on my face. I also like how they reflect the, the light off of them and kind of glare out your eyes, so yeah. And then I got these. I actually am repurchasing these. I got these from Forever 21. I walked by and saw them in the window. They're like, I think these were like $5. And they have little pineapples on them. And the only thing about these and why I'm repurchasing them is because the pineapples rub off. I don't know if it's because I lotion my feet or what. But the pineapples rub off. So, um, if y'all have any kind of hack, I want to put something on it, like nail polish or something, to put over it so it does not rub off. Let me know, because I need some help with that. I got some undershirts for work. <laughs> I love their camis, and they're cheap. They're like, what, a dollar? A dollar and ninety cents. So I got three white ones, three black ones because I seem to always misplace my undershirts. Um, oh, I got me some gold sandals. I didn't bother trying these on. Um, I've, I've bought sandals from Forever Twenty One before. Thought these were cute. They real. They look almost the same as my um, black ones that I got, except for they're like gold ish. Oh, um, and I got me some work flats. These ain't. They're not even cute. But I need some new flats for work because my white ones look messed up. Now last, but certainly not least, are these beautiful swimsuits that I got from a Lori Swim. Now, this is probably gonna be one of the few times that I'm gonna be messy on this channel, but I do not recommend purchasing from a Lori Swim at this point in time. There's a situation going on that I'm still not 100% sure, so I'm not really gonna speak on it, but the person who I was in connections with with the Lori Swim, but it seems that somebody else is running the business now, and I do not recommend buying this stuff. But people always ask me where I get these swimsuits from because they are so beautiful. They're handmade, they're really high quality. So I just wanted to include them. If you do decide to purchase the swimsuits, that's on your own risk. So, but anyway, about the swimsuits. Um, I had to go through and stitch the crotch because they were too long um, and my cootie cat was coming out <laughs> and which is still basically coming out now, but that's the style now with these swimsuits. But it was like, literally like my lips would be talking before I uh, uh, stitched these up. So on all of these, um, I went through and just stitched the crotch and it's just not even a I didn't it's nothing special it doesn't rub or anything so just stitch the crotch if it's too long it's you can hand do it I have a sewing machine but you can hand do it um the next one this is my favorite of these swimsuits that I'm about to show y'all my favorites it has like this little peekaboo under boot thing and I like that it's risky but I like it I've worn the swimsuit a lot and I haven't had any kind of nip slips or anything like that um, that stays in place. I tie them really tight so that my boobs stay in place and I really like these swimsuits. I like the little cross down in the bottom. I like how it has the cross underneath your boob. I just like the swimsuit a whole lot and this color looks really good on my skin. So this next one, um, not a fan of it, but I got a lot of compliments when I posted it. Um, 
these this was actually a gift from the previous owner of Alori Swim. She sent me these because I posted her swimsuits and she just really appreciated the support that I gave her. And she, she's so dope. And it's unfortunate that this business is just not what it used to be. But yeah, this is this is cute, but it's just not for me. I don't like it on my body type. It make I feel like it makes my torso look extra long. I feel like I know y'all gonna be like, day, no, it's not that serious. But I feel like them little cockroaches from Men in Black whenever I wear this. Like I don't know. Like the way my back curves and my stomach poke out a little bit, it just reminds me of them little skinny roaches in Men in Black. So the next swimsuit that I have, I love the color of this. I love the copper strings on it. But it's a little risky. This also was a gift from her. Um, the back is basically a thong. And the other ones, yeah, my butt cheeks are out. But I'm not 100% comfortable wearing a thong. Although, when I go overseas, I've been to the Dominican Republic. I've been to Jamaica. I've been to... Where else did I go? I feel like I went to one more place that I can't... Oh, and Mexico. I've been to Mexico before. They wear thong swimsuits, so it's nothing when you're out there. I actually feel more comfortable wearing these swimsuits out of the country, which is weird because you feel like that's a foreign land. But I feel more comfortable. Like, the people are so less judgmental. They're very warm. They're very friendly. Like, it's nothing. You see older women doing it, young women doing it, and it's just like they're not as, like, I don't know. They don't sexualize everything so much, and they're more comfortable with their body. Whereas here in the United States, when you wear something like that everybody's gawking at you looking at you they're gonna call you all kind of labels and whatnot and if you ever been out the country you know what i'm talking about if you haven't been out the country save up your coins and get out the country so that's it for the clothing part i also want to show you guys some of my must have travel essentials that i'm not leaving the country without the first thing is my black soap. I use this on my face and this is going to be good for my body because it's exfoliating. And if I'm going to be out in the sun and I'm going to be in the beach, in the water, I want to make sure I am gently exfoliating my skin so, so it doesn't dry out, get crusty, dusty, and a little bit musty or whatever. So I'm also bringing some sunscreen. And I know black people are like, we don't need sunscreen. Yes, we do. I have sunburn on my shoulders and I've also gotten sun poisoning. And this started happening when I was uh shoot how old was i when that first happened i think i was 21 when i got that sun poisoning and after that i was like uh i'm wearing sunscreen from now on um it'll also save your skin some aging like black don't crack but to keep your black cracking less over time just invest in some sunscreen and the palmer's coconut butter one this is a good one it's moisturizing too so i put that on in the morning and going about my business i gotta worry about sunscreen and getting dark spots and all that stuff I'm also bringing, this is a new company called Socialite. I'm bringing this body butter. This is so amazing. Like this is my summer moisturizer. I've had this for a couple weeks and y'all can, you can't, can you see? There you go. Y'all can see I'm almost halfway through the jar, so I need to order me some more. But I love this. This is a black-owned business, so I recommend y'all supporting them. I will have links to everything that I had um, talked about today in the description box. So go ahead and purchase you some. Check them out. I'm also not going anywhere without my Fenty Beauty foundation. I love Rihanna's foundation. It's so bomb. That's coming with me. I'm also not going anywhere without my waterproof mascara. This is the um, Maybelline. It's all rubbed off now. Maybelline Rocket, I think is what it's called. So waterproof mascara so I don't have burning eyes when I get in the water. I am also, for my hair going to be bringing some dry shampoo um i have yet to use this one um it was sent to me by talia waji it was a gift and i've heard good things about it you just put it on your scalp and then you wipe it off and that should remove the product buildup. and i'm also bringing a refresher spray with me to spray my actual hair in these braids because i need to keep my hair moisturized and then for my scalp i'm bringing the head and shoulders clinical solutions leave on dandruff treatment because i plan on keeping these braids in for a while and this is formulated specifically to prevent buildup and dandruff on your scalp. So these are my three. What I'm going to clean with, what I'm going to moisturize my hair with, and what I'm going to treat my scalp with. That's all I'm bringing for my hair in um, Mexico. So of course I'm bringing my essentials like my toothpaste and all that stuff and whatnot. But that's all I can possibly think of. So... I appreciate you all sitting with me during this video. I feel like I talked everybody's heads off. So yeah, that is pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Make sure you subscribe below. I do plan on doing more things with my channel, such as these fashion hauls. I want to start doing some commentary on stuff. So yeah, subscribe and come along for the ride.